All right, so the first book I want to share with you, it's one of my favorite, favorite books. So I told you I love books. I love reading, right? And um, I love reading all kinds of books. I love reading stories um, that are maybe kind of silly or maybe uh, um, stories that are, you know, real about things that happen, about real people that lived a long time ago. Um, but, you know, we have all kinds of type of books. We have books with pictures. We have books with no pictures. And actually, my very favorite book is a book that has no pictures. So I'm sorry if you don't like books with pictures, but um, my favorite book is the book with no pictures by uh, B.J. Novak. And well, we don't have an illustrator because there are no pictures. So um, I hope you enjoy this book. I love this book. Um, don't skip it. It's I love it. So. Hopefully you do too. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. Okay, that's just the title page. So we always have a title page, right? We have the cover, then we have the title page. And the really cool thing about this book is that it has a sleeve. And the sleeve is actually this little pocket here. It has a little paper that kind of like a little book cover. You see it, it goes around the um, covers of the book. It's called a sleeve, so it's pretty cool. All right, so first page. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Usually they are. Except, hmm. Here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say it. That is true. Whatever is on the book, it's what the author wanted you to read, and it's the information the author wants you to see. So, no matter what, we must read everything on the book. Hmm. That's the deal. That's the rule. So, that means even if the words say... Hmm, what's it going to say? Blork. Wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. Or blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. I don't. Yes, I am a monkey. Awesome. I am a robot monkey. What? What in, in my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I start reading, please? No. Oh. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A, a song? Do I really? Do I really have to sing a? <gasps> Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off my rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. What? What? And also the kid I'm reading this book is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? Hmm.
And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. Mm. Oh my goodness. And may silly sounds like... Uh oh, I have a feeling it's not going to be good. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Glorp, bloop, 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 Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It's so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please. Because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bunk. I don't really want to say that. And that's the end of the book. So this is one of my favorite books. The first time I read it, I did not know what it was getting into. I did not read the blur. So um, it is very important to read the blur. So my students, the first time I read this book, really caught me um, off guard. Um, so if, for those of you that don't know, the blur is found always at the back of the book. Okay. And it has, um, is usually a little, like, um, a little preview, um, of what the book is about. So this one says, warning, this book looks serious, but it's actually completely ridiculous. As you already heard. Um, if a kid is trying to make you read this book, the kid is playing a trick on you. You will end up saying silly things and making everybody laugh and laugh. Don't say I didn't warn you. So um, hopefully you laughed and laughed like um, the blurred said. But um, like I said, the first time uh, my students uh, asked me to read this book, um, it looked pretty serious and boring. And I was like, why do they want me to read this book? Um, because I didn't read the blur and I did not look inside to the pictures or um, the pages before I started reading it. I did not realize that it was a very silly book. And they made me say some really silly things like I did right now. But now I love this book and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Nobach. <laughs>